Good evening, Team Gunmetal. Tonight, we are going to focus once again on the SIG 365. Um, now, I did a video where I showed you guys some um, actual test firing of the SIG 365, but there are a few things that I want to go over with the SIG 365 and um, some of the various features of the gun that I wasn't able to cover as easily in that video. So first, I want to show you guys that it is safe. There is nothing in here. There's nothing in here. And this one is wrapped up, but as you can see, there's nothing in there either. So let's check the firearm itself. You can see here that there is nothing inside. Okay, we are good to go. We are very, very, very safe. All right. Okay. So the first thing that I want to cover is what the gun comes with. The actual firearm itself, the SIG 365, comes with a 10 round mag and a um, with a finger extension here. So when you put that in, it actually gives your finger a little bit extra room there to grab onto, which is nice when you. Um, when you need that little bit of extra room there it is quite nice to have that that finger groove there but if you do want to go for more of a low profile option you do have the option of a flat based uh, magazine and it holds the same amount of uh, cartridges this is the 10 round magazine but it is a flat base like i said before however your pinky will have a tendency to slip off of this one here. Um, so it's a personal choice whether you want to carry that or not. Um, my personal favorite, now there's nothing wrong with these two mags. I do like a 10 round mag, but my personal favorite is the 12 round mag. You see it's got a lot more beef at the bottom, carries a couple extra rounds, and this gives my hand something extra to grab onto without any sort of problem at all. That is one great thing about the 12 round mag. It gives my hand quite a bit of extra, quite a bit of extra um, area to grab onto. That is one thing that I find to be very, very nice about the SIG 365. Um, the other features that I really like are the textured grip here. The textured grip is nice when your hands are sweaty and you really need to uh, uh, get a good grip on your firearm. That textured grip helps keep your hand on that firearm when you are actually shooting it. You know, it, it gives you a much, much better grip on the actual firearm itself. <clears throat> I like the fact that it comes standard with uh, SIG night sights and the uh, green outline on the front sight. So you've got SIG night sights standard. Um, you've also got the forward serrations and the rear serrations, of course, on the slide, making it much, much easier if you want to rack it from the front or from the rear. You can. Either way, you can do. You can also use it for press checks, you know, see if you're loaded or not. It is a really, really good setup. Now, one thing you do have to be careful with when you are reloading the SIG 365 is, I've done this once, you put this in and you, you put in one of the magazines and it does have a tendency to pinch your hand. So you wanna be careful when you're putting that in that you don't pinch your finger underneath here. You can see where it pinched me right there. So you wanna be careful when you're putting in those magazines, especially in the heat of the moment, Get your hand a little bit out of the way, pop it in, do what you got to do, and get ready to rock back into the skirmish. Um, hopefully you never have to use it, but it is available if you need it. Okay. Um, I also like the fact that the slide is thin enough that it lends itself to all sorts of different racking uh, possibilities you can do with this one. I, I really, really like the size of the SIG 365. So. Um, the other thing with the 12 round mag, now they also have a 15 round mag that you can get for the SIG 365. So that would be 15 plus 1. Currently it's 12 plus 1 in mine. But the uh, 15 plus 1 gives it an equal capacity to the Glock 19. Now I want you to look at the difference 
in the Glock 19 and the SIG 365. One second. Okay, so the Glock 19 versus the SIG 365. Let's go ahead and move these mags down here. Here is the Mistress of Metals Glock 19. And here is the SIG 365. You can see there's not a gigantic difference in size, but if you line the two up by grip and by trigger guard, you can see that there is a significant difference in size. They are equal here in the back. They're equal, but look at the grip difference there. Look at the size of the trigger guard, that difference. The size of the slide, not a gigantic difference, but the length of the slide is a major, major difference. Here they are from top. Now they are at the top. So there is a major, major difference in size, but yet you still, I mean, this is an extended mag for the Glock, um, but the standard Glock 19 magazine is the same size as the extended mag for the SIG 365. That is just amazing that you can have a gun this much smaller and still have a similar capacity. That to me is a, is a good thing. It's a very, very good thing because it gives you the ability to have almost the same amount of firepower in a smaller package, in a much smaller package. So the next thing I want to point out is you see the size of the trigger guard for the Glock 19. It's a rather large trigger guard and it's meant so you can get your finger inside of that trigger guard, uh, the trigger guard if you need to. So that's something else to look at. But this is a mid, I wouldn't say a full size gun because a Glock 19, a uh, Glock 17 is a full size. This is more of a mid size. But let's take a look at the trigger guards compared to each other. So we have our SIG 365 here. We know that it's not loaded. Now we have our Glock 19 here. No magazine. It's all been cleared. We both agree that is empty there. Nothing in there. We are nice and clear. Okay. So let's compare the trigger guard here. We've got a, uh, a trigger guard that looks to be, you know, roughly about an inch and a half or so of room in there. And then we've got our SIG trigger, uh, SIG trigger guard. See the size? The Glock 19 trigger guard appears to actually be pretty much the same exact size as the SIG 365 trigger guard. Um, it also appears that the SIG 365 has more room inside of the trigger guard. Now, I could be wrong on that. I would actually have to do the measurements. Um, but if you look at the size of both, they are pretty doggone similar in size. Now, the other thing to consider with the SIG 365 is the fact that you can get your finger in there quickly and easily because it's so large and such a small, compact size gun. If, um, if you're in a defensive scenario, the last thing you want is a gun that is you know so small that you can't get your finger into the trigger guard. You're struggling to get your finger in there and defend yourself. You want something with a large trigger guard, just like the Glock 19 or Glock 17 or any of the larger frame pistols. So the uh, SIG 365 having that larger trigger guard is absolutely advantageous. It's a major, major advantage. So that's something else I wanted to point out about the SIG. And uh, one of the other things that I really like about the SIG 365 is the external extractor. This external extractor is just beautiful, man. It works great. Um, you know, it ejects every time, pulls those rounds out without a problem. Um, it's just a really nicely performing striker fired uh, pistol. You know, it's got all the all the combat features that you would see in a uh, in a good in a good concealed carry handgun it's got all the features you would want and then some um, one of the final features I wanted to mention well a couple final features I wanted to mention the trigger pull is really really nice the trigger pull is not bad at all um, 
And then the final feature I wanted to mention is the triangular mag release. I really, really like that triangular mag release. Um, instead of being a button or a, um, a, a rectangle like the Glock has here, the Glock has the rectangular trigger guard there. It's fine. It's fine. But I like how raised up the SIG 365 magazine release is. And I like the fact that it's large enough to where I can be using it and still be able to drop my mag out of there without changing my grip all that much. I can still maintain my grip and boom and be able to put another one in, rack, and get back in the fight. So just a few little things that I wanted to mention about the SIG 365 and have it compare to the, uh, the Glock 19. Um, I don't know if you guys know me well enough, but you should know by now that um, I'm a gunsmith. I like all firearms. I have no problem with any firearm, um, but I do have preferences like anyone. Um, I carry Glock. I carry uh, 1911s. I carry Springfield Operator uh, 1911. Um, I carry Colt 1911, and I carry SIGs. You know, I, I like all sorts of different firearms, so don't think that I'm down on anything. I do carry Glocks. So um, it's just a simple comparison between these two. And uh, some parts of, uh, of this one are great. Some parts of this one are great. Um, but for a concealed carry handgun currently, there really is no better firearm, in my opinion, for concealed carry than the SIG 365 at the moment. So um, get one. You'll be glad that you did. Uh, that's going to do it for me here on the Gunmetal Armory podcast and YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe. Please check out my podcast and please check out my Patreon, guys. And join us next time as we travel deeper inside the Gunmetal Armory. Good night, everybody.